In this tutorial, I will talk about sound and answer some basic questions like what is sound? How does sound travel? What is the speed of sound? What is a frequency? What is a wavelength? And what is a waveform? Sound is normally understood as vibrations or oscillations in the air. These oscillations result in pressure variations that may be sensed by the human ear or sensed by a microphone. Whenever a rigid structure is vibrating, it may result in audible sound. A musical instrument is an example of a structure that is designed to generate sound, to generate vibrations in the air, which are then perceived as audible sound. A loudspeaker has a vibrating membrane that is designed to make air particles move. It is made to produce sound. When the membrane moves outward, the air particles in front of it are pushed forward and compressed, which results in an increase of the air pressure in front of the membrane. As the membrane moves inward again, a decrease in air pressure is created in front of the membrane. This movement of the membrane creates sound. In order for sound to travel from A to B, some sort of material is needed. A rigid vibrating structure sets the particles next to it in motion and those next to it and so on and so on. So now let's just talk about sound in air. Air particles are around us all the time. When there is no sound, air particles exhibit a constant static pressure. This is also what we call the barometric pressure. A sound source generates positive and negative pressure relative to the static pressure. Whenever positive pressure is established, the compressed air molecules try to expand into the neighboring space. When negative pressure is established, the air molecules from the neighboring space are attracted to compensate for the displaced molecules. In this way, any sound can be regarded as a disturbance of the static pressure, a disturbance that travels away from the sound source. It's a kind of chain reaction or a domino effect. So the next question is, how fast does sound travel? What is the speed of sound? No matter the disturbance of the air particles or in other terms, the sound, the propagation speed is almost constant. In air, the speed of sound is approximately 340 meters per second at normal room temperature. If it gets colder, for instance, at night, sound travels slower, and if it's warmer, sound travels faster. Compared to light, sound moves very slowly. Light waves are approximately 875,000 times faster than sound. What we see arrives much faster than what we hear, which is why we sometimes may experience the flash from a lightning way before we hear the thunder. The speed of sound is determined by the material in which it is propagating. Here is a short list of materials and, as you can see, sound propagates slowly in air, faster in water and even faster in more dense materials like concrete and iron. Fun fact, if you go to Mars, sound propagates at half the speed of sound on Earth because the atmosphere on Mars is made of carbon dioxide. Furthermore. Sound cannot propagate in outer space because there are no particles to form any pressure variations. Let's go back to Earth and find out what is frequency. Frequency is a matter of oscillation per time unit. It is the number of times the air pressure changes from no pressure to maximum positive pressure, passing no pressure on the way to maximum negative pressure. And finally, back to no pressure per second. This oscillation is called one period. Normally we illustrate oscillations with a curve. This curve can represent the pressure changes over time, for instance the voltage out of a microphone. When the curve climbs, it illustrates an increase in air pressure, and when the curve declines, it illustrates a decrease in air pressure. If one oscillation or one period is carried out over one second, we have one hertz. 
If the movement is a hundred times faster, it generates a hundred periods within a second. This is a frequency of a hundred hertz. Ten times faster and we reach a thousand hertz. We use the term kilohertz for a thousand hertz. People can hear frequencies in the range between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. One of the terms that can be difficult to comprehend is wavelength. Well, first of all, a wavelength is directly determined by two factors. One is the speed of sound and the other one is the frequency. A wavelength is a physical measure of the distance the sound travels during one period of a given frequency. Here on Earth, the speed of sound is approximately 340 meters per second, so if the frequency is 1 hertz, the wavelength is 340 meters. This is quite a distance, and actually, it's not audible. So moving the example into the audible range of frequencies at 20 hertz, the sound of each period only reaches 1 20th of 340 meters, the distance of 1 hertz. So 20 hertz has a wavelength of approximately 17 meters. The wavelength of 20 kilohertz is only 1.7 millimeters. Notice that the physical wavelength of sound is in the range of dimensions of most objects around us, like rooms, loudspeakers, and the dimension of microphones. The short waves, the high frequencies, are easily interrupted by smaller objects, so different sizes of microphones will affect the sound field in different ways. So, what is waveform? As mentioned earlier, one way to describe sound is by its waveform. The waveform is presented by a graphical curve that describes the signal variation, whether this is the variation of the pressure in air or the variation of the electric output of a device like a microphone. If the signal contains one and only one frequency, this forms a sine wave. If we have another sine wave, which we then add to the first, we still observe this as one curve. Every point on the two curves are added, combined, so they form a new curve that contains both tones. If we add a third tone, there are three frequencies present, even though we have only one curve. The output of a loudspeaker is also one curve or one signal. However, the human ear, including the brain, can detect the individual tones. Sometimes the curve contains input from an entire rock band, and then the waveform is, of course, much more complex, and it's changing all the time. In this tutorial, I have answered some basic questions about sound. What is sound? How does sound travel? What is the speed of sound? What is frequency? What is a wavelength? And what is waveform?